Hi there, Jamie here from Poodle Press. Hope you're well. Here's a look at how you can um, customize the individual uh, product page when you're using the Divi theme. Uh, so I'm going to show you how you go from this, which is uh, like the standard WooCommerce layout that you'll see on uh, Divi, to something much more exciting like this, where you can actually completely customize the WooCommerce product page. So, you know, if you've got a very visual product, you can lay out this page in, um, in a way that it makes it more attractive and then people are going to buy the product. So like this is a good example of that. So again, I'm going to show you how you go from this to this very easily. And this is using our Poodle Page Builder plugin. And I'm just going to go to the dashboard and I'm going to show you from start to finish how, this, <coughs> how easy it is for this to work. But to start with, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just um, duplicate an, um, a product here that we can use just for this um, demo. So let's use this one here. I'll just duplicate it. So here's my product. And I'm just going to um, publish that quickly. So at the moment, this looks like any normal uh, WooCommerce product if you're using Divi. And if we go to the View Product uh, page, you'll see. There we go. Looks for, uh, just as any normal product would. But if I go to Edit Product, I'm going to make this more exciting. Uh, there's just a few things I'm going to do. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select No Sidebar over here. Okay. <clears throat> and that will get rid of that sidebar for this, just for this particular product. And then this is the magic. This is where I'm going to use the product builder. So you just click on the product builder tab over here, and that will that will then launch you into the live editor. Now here we go. This is where we've got a canvas where we can pretty much lay out this product however we like. So I'm just going to I'm just going to do that quickly. I'm going to start over here by adding um, and you'll start with one row here. So and we just put some dummy text in just so you, you're going to edit this. But this is what you start with, and I'm just going to add a background image to this. So I'm going to click on that little icon there, and then I'm just going to select a background image. And you'll see one of the options is over here is to use the product image. And that will just bring that product in image into this row for you. I'm going to do a, a few other things with the layout. I'm going to make the layout full width. And I'm going to set the minimum row height to be 650 pixels in this case. And you'll see that will just affect that over here. And there we go. That's my uh, product image coming into this. Now, the beauty of this is um, you can just type in here whatever you like. Now, I'm just putting some gibberish in here for now. Let me just grab some gibberish over here that I can paste into this box here. And you know, you can you can do all the normal sort of Poodle page builder stuff, like you can just drag these around wherever you want. You can increase the size of this font. You can change the font in here, which is pretty cool. Um, so it's already looking much more exciting. And then you'll see under here, I can add new rows, but all I'm gonna do for this one is I'm gonna add um, and you'll see, sorry, over here on the left-hand side, these are all the WooCommerce individual modules that we can then bring into this product. And these will bring the data that you've already put into your product into this page. And you'll see I've got product details in here. And I'm going to drag that in. And that'll just take that though, all those product details that you've already put in here, like the title of the product here, the price of it, the quantities, and any variations that you'd have in here would, would show up in here as well. Uh, you can also style this as well if you want to, but I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, I'm going to add a little bit of space in that row. So I'm just going to go to the row layout and add some top margin here. And there we go. Isn't that fantastic? Um, so there's my new product. And then once you're happy, just click update at the top here. And that product will now be live. Now, if you want to change in any of this data here, you go back to the product to do that. If you want to change any of this data here, you can just you can do that with Page Builder. Let me just show you that. I'm going to go back to the product. So I'm going to change the title here because I don't want copy up here. Let's change it to Devon. And I'm also going to change the price here. Let's reduce the price. And that data will just be reflected now when I go back and view that product on the front end. And there we go. There's my new product data coming in. And the beauty of this as well is you can create templates out of these. So you can create your layout in Page Builder and then you can apply these individually to all your products just with one click. So you don't have to go through this again. Once you've got your layout, you're done. Okay, so that, that's a look at how you can customize uh, individual product pages uh, with Divi. Hope you enjoyed it.